You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Here we go. Welcome back once again to the Grant Cast, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grant Pachoco, and it is an absolute pleasure to have you here listening, downloading, following along as I ramble incoherently uh, about things going on. And uh, it's just a pleasure to have you here. We're really trying to keep the Grant Cast on schedule, so uh, that's why you're getting this episode here today. Hi, friends. It's great to talk to you. I just got back from traveling. I went to Oregon. Uh, to visit my parents. My parents moved to Oregon several years ago. My mom grew up in Oregon. I think I've talked about all this um, on before, that I would spend two summers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, But it was great to see my parents. Hadn't seen them in about a year, a little over uh, probably a year and a half. And uh, great to see some of my cousins as well and uh, do a little reminiscing about the good old days. And uh, yeah, it was a it was a lovely trip. A lot of driving uh, drove instead of fly. Um, but uh, still, um, I, I love driving. Uh, driving is one of my I can drive forever. You need someone to drive across the country. You got it. I will uh, scoot over. Let me drive. Um, so I love driving. And uh, this was a good trip. I recently decided uh, I, I watched these YouTube videos about uh, how to get more done and you know uh, and a lot of times I think the person uh, maybe wrote a script via chat GPT and is just recording it and um, you know I just I I don't know I watch these videos and maybe I always look at those things as if you get one little good idea out of a video like that uh, then you can use that good idea, and maybe it'll help you, and maybe it won't. And the idea that I got from a recent video I watched was this idea of having a dumb phone. And they do sell dumb phones that only do texting and voice. That's it. Um, and I I could not do that. But what I, I really loved about this is this guy said he had two phones, and he had his phone that he takes to work, and the apps on the phone that he takes to work are just super stripped down. So he doesn't have all these social media apps. He doesn't have uh, food ordering apps. He doesn't. He just has the basics that he might need um, on that phone. And then on his other phone, uh, he called it his, uh, I think in the video, he called it his crack phone. Uh, I'm going to try and find the link to this video so I can post it in the show notes. If it's not there, then I just absolutely cannot remember what it was, but he has what is called a crack phone where all his games, all his social media network, all his stuff on there. So what I did was I took my uh, phone that I I carry around with me all the time and I just stripped the non-essential apps off of it. So Facebook is not on this phone, tons of other social media stuff. I did keep YouTube uh, and the reason I keep YouTube, uh, kept YouTube on there is because um, I, I do pay for YouTube premium. And when I go walking, um, I try to do a, a bunch of walking every single day. Um, a lot of times, if I'm not listening to podcasts, I will listen to the audio from YouTube videos. Um, so, and then if I need to see something, I'll fish it out of my pocket. Um, but you can download YouTube videos with YouTube premium, and then you can also have those play in the background while your phone screen is turned off. So, uh, I did keep YouTube. I don't know. I've had it for a couple weeks now like this, and I kind of like it. I do find myself a little bit, um, you know, if I'm out at a restaurant or something, um, and I go to like, look and be like, oh, I wonder what's happening on Facebook, um, and I don't have Facebook. Um, now I could easily download it, but I do not. And uh, so I, But I have those apps on my iPad, which is sort of my leisure um, activity uh, sort of device. So anyway, it's just really interesting, and I think I will continue to do that. The only issue that came up was Toily right after I did this. I think I did this on a Saturday night, and the Sunday morning after it, uh, or the Sunday afternoon after it, I was Toily was supposed to open for Sid Croft on Instagram, and I got all set up for him to do that. Uh, and the show starts at three, and it was like two fifty eight, and I realized uh, that Instagram is not installed on this phone, so I had to quickly download it, and install it. So now I do have, uh, I do have Instagram on this phone um, on Toily's account, but 
I don't really do a lot of surfing on toilies. Uh, like my personal Instagram account, which is at throwing toasters. Um, that's where I do a lot of the scrolling. I don't really do a lot of scrolling on toilies Instagram account. So having Instagram on this phone with just toilies account is just to sort of, um, you know, that work thing of posting videos and replying to comments and all that kind of stuff. So Instagram is on there, but it is not my personal account, and I don't do a lot of scrolling. So I don't know. I'll need a ruling from you. Do you think that is cheating? I don't know. Um, there's no really rules to doing this on your phone. But uh, anyway, it's it's interesting, and I like it, and I like not being distracted. And I, I find myself like, oh, I should post this on Facebook. Oh, I can't. I will have to post it later tonight. Um, so uh, anyway... If you try to reach me through Facebook or any other sort of social media app and you don't get a response from me for like a day or so, that is because it's not on my phone. And um, that's just the way it is. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, man, oh man, we there's a lot of famous people kicking the bucket uh, recently. And I don't say that in a, in a crude way, but it kind of started for me with Joe Bonzel from the Oak Ridge Boys. Um, I'm sure I've talked about the Oak Ridge Boys before on here. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandma Donnie, my mom's mom, loved the Oak Ridge Boys, loved them. And uh, so coming up, uh, as I said, for two weeks every summer to Oregon, I heard a lot of Oak Ridge Boys growing up. And, um, you know, a song like Elvira to a kid is really catchy, and it's a fun song because um papa, um papa, mau mau, right? So I loved all these Oak Ridge Boys uh, th- uh, songs, and I didn't have CDs by them when, when CDs became a thing, and I really didn't even when sort of, you know, Apple Music Store became a thing. It never dawned on me to, to download some of the Oak Ridge Boys stuff, and I'm trying to remember what it was. I can't remember exactly, but... I just, I downloaded one of their albums and I just slowly, this was probably about maybe 10 years ago, I slowly started getting back into the Oak Ridge Boys and then uh, went to a few Oak Ridge Boys shows that were fantastic. And then the cool thing was when I went on tour for Mystery Science Theater or sometimes with Pump It Up, uh, but definitely the two tours of Mystery Science Theater, we would play in these venues where the Oak Ridge Boys had played. And a lot of times in these performing arts centers or these other concert venues, backstage will be all these posters um, or painting on the wall of acts that had been there before. And it was always really fun to see that the Oak Ridge Boys had been there because, I don't know, I just kind of always thought that Grandma Donnie would think that that was pretty cool, uh, that that I... Uh, that I played where the Oak Ridge Boys would play. And uh, on before Twitter became a disaster area, I would kind of tweet out like, hey, playing another venue where the Oak Ridge Boys are playing, and I would tag them. And they, they retweeted it a bunch of times, and I think I would have to check. I, I have not been on Twitter um, uh, in forever. Um, but uh, I think the Oak Ridge Boys followed me, and I think Joe Bonzo followed me. And I did a thing with Uncle Interloper, my puppet Uncle Interloper, where I did sort of a lip sync to one of the Oak Ridge Boys songs uh, called Dig a Little Deeper in the Well, which as a kid was one of my absolute favorite Oak Ridge Boys songs. And that, uh, I made a little video of uh, Uncle Interloper and the three worms uh, lip syncing to that. And Joe Bonzel actually commented on it and said, wow, this is, this is really awesome or something like that, which I thought was cool. And then one time I tweeted a story about how I went to an Oak Ridge Boys concert with Grandma Donnie and she uh, she snuck a tape recorder in to the Circle Star Theater to bootleg the show. And uh, this was the early 80s. So you can imagine how big this tape recorder in was. I mean, it was like one of those, um, you know, flat ones with all the buttons down at the one end and the big speaker down at the other end. But put that in her bag. And like, how did she disguise that from the I mean, I guess security was a lot more lax than it was now, but there was still some security. <laughs> maybe they just didn't search bags at the Oak Ridge Boys concert. So, and I remember she had that tape. I wish I knew where that tape was. I wish I had that tape, uh, but I do not. But anyway, it was, it was very um, 
that was a great memory. And I tweeted that to Joe Bonzel and uh, he got a kick out of it and he retweeted it and he commented back. So um, I was very sorry to see that uh, Joe Bonzel passed away. He was the youngest of the four Oak Ridge boys. There's been a lot of different Oak Ridge boys over the years, um, but he was the youngest of the four. So it was uh, very surprising that uh, he went first, but he was a good guy. I never got to meet him. Um, I, I can tell that our, from his tweets, our sort of uh, political leanings did not match up, um, but he was always super nice and was never mean, um, you know, uh, uh, kind of about things, um, maybe a little bit, but, um, you know, I, I was just, I was just sorry to see that he passed away and I was bummed. He, a few months ago, uh, said that he was going to stop touring with the band and they had a replacement singer come in to, to sing with them and, uh, he had stopped touring and then the Oak Ridge boys sort of announced that they were going to stop touring. They're on their final tour right now. And, um, yeah, it was just a, just a sad to see that come to an end. And then just today, uh, kind of to wrap this up, I don't even think I can do this justice. Uh, Bob Newhart passed away and the style of comedy where you're hearing one end of the conversation kills me. It is so funny to me. Um, I think it works a little bit better on the phone, although the, the driving lesson with Mrs. Webb, Mrs. Webb, don't back up. Um, is, you know, of course, the the undeniable classic. But it, to me, it always worked a little bit better on the phone. Um, but man, I would listen to Bob Newhart, those old Bob Newhart bits over and over and over again. And uh, what a tremendous loss, um, you know, it was to have Bob Newhart pass away. Well, I don't mean to end on a down note, um, but I, I don't feel it as a down note. I'm honoring these people. And, um, you know, uh, I will not stop thinking about these fine folks um, and the legacy that they have left. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Grant Cast. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for sticking along for the ride. Um, please reach out and uh, let me know what you thought of this episode. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. This episode of the Grand Cast was edited by Stephen Staver and was made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons at the behind the scenes level and above get access to a video of the recording of these episodes. Big shout out to all of our patrons and a special shout out to our patron producers, Eve Cunning, Kathy Crawford, Tony Urbano, Brandy, David Akers, Paul, Scott Armstrong, Vicky Sebring, Ricky Chavez, and Karina. If you'd like to become a patron and receive episodes of the Grantcast before they are released, visit patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. And thank you for your support. This episode of the Grand Cast is copyright 2024 Saturday Morning Media Grant Pachoco Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>